Hi, I'm Matt, this is John, and together we created Roboticy. We know how confusing and daunting it is to learn to code, but we also know that kids love playing games, interacting with real objects, and making things. Roboticy is a small programmable robot that is a toy at heart, but unlike some of the other awesome tools, which are either simple but limited, or powerful but way too complex for a beginner, Roboticy is both simple and powerful. How do we do this? The first step is to make it super easy to get started. There is no complex setup and no long manuals to read. This means it takes just five minutes from opening the box to running your very first program that you've written on your robot. The online environment starts with simple drag and drop based programming, just like in Scratch, but then transitions gently to full text based code. At the end of every level, you send your program to Roboticy and it runs, providing immediate feedback. But we can't take all the credit for Roboticy. It's the hundreds of children we have visited in schools, code clubs, friends and families' houses, and everywhere else who've provided us with invaluable comments, innovations, and alterations that are continuing to shape Roboticy. We watched to see where you got stuck and which bits you found too easy. At each stage, we haven't tried to second guess what you wanted. Instead, we simply reached out and asked what you wanted your robot to look like, any new features you wanted to see, and we were absolutely blown away by your feedback. But we didn't stop there. We also sought the advice of a wide range of experts, including some leading educationalists. I think Roboticy is a really great step forward in giving access to young learners to physical computing devices. It's easy to pick up and it works perfectly with gadgeting devices such as Raspberry Pi, simple languages like Scratch and so on. We've even been featured in magazines like Wired. Coding is a crucial new form of literacy, a skill we believe every child must learn. Our journey began with the idea that children learn best through physical play. We asked ourselves, how do we take code learning beyond the computer screen and make it more engaging for young learners? This led us to develop physical coding. Plobot uses command cards to make programming intuitive, visual, and easy to understand. These cards represent the same coding blocks that programmers use, but without the confusing syntax. By swiping these cards in sequence, kids string together instructions to help Plobot reach a goal. Programming turns into this fun, hands-on game. Even the youngest learners can get started right away. Swipe, play, and learn. By breaking down a task into steps, kids exercise their problem-solving skills and harness their creativity. With expansion packs, Plobot grows with your child's progress, challenging them to explore and imagine new solutions. With Plobot, we are giving kids a head start. We are building something that encourages children not to just consume technology, but to create, to go out there, experiment, and have fun. There's a lot of potential in a physical coding platform that makes learning more accessible and playtime more productive. That's what really drives us, to help kids become better thinkers through play. And we're very excited to bring this new approach to more people, and we invite you to become part of this journey. Advanced robots are redefining modern warfare, changing the rules for sporting competitions, and going places no human would dare. They can camouflage themselves using intricate papercraft disguises. They're becoming faster and more agile than their human peers. And they're being programmed by fifth graders. I did that. Programming is an important skill for kids to learn. But unless we make it fun, kids are never going to stick with it. Kamibot reimagines programming education as something fun and affordable. We're constantly expanding the collection of papercraft characters that you can download and print from our website. You can even use skins which you have created for yourselves. Kamibot is based on open source Arduino technology that's easy for kids to program using a computer. While Kamibot is fully controllable with a phone or tablet, it also includes IR sensors that let it follow a black line on the ground, as well as programmable ultrasonic sensors which help it avoid obstacles. DC motors on both wheels let it turn easily, and a servo motor on top allows you to turn the head of your papercraft characters. Color changing LEDs? Those are just for fun. 
We've been perfecting Kamibot for over a year now. And over the last few months, we've been testing our final prototype with kids in Korea. In our experience, kids love playing with Kamibot and parents love that their kids are gaining useful programming skills and boosting creativity while they play. So we're turning to you to help get Kamibot into homes and classrooms all around the world. If you believe like we do that programming should be fun, we'd be honored for you to join us by contributing to our campaign. I got you. Hi, I'm Chris from Awesome Shield. Our goal is to help kids learn how to code and understand technology. Awesome Shield is video tutorials, simple code kids can write, and hardware that brings their code to life. After a year of development, we took Awesome Shield to Maker Fair Rome, where in one weekend, over 350 people sat down with Awesome Shield, wrote their first few lines of code, and created a project that they could hold in their hands. Creating something tangible is really important because it gets kids excited about math, science, and engineering. These things become tools that kids use to build stuff. Awesome Shield is built on top of Arduino, so kids are learning to use a powerful platform that artists, scientists, and engineers all over the world use to create amazing inventions. Getting started is easy. You begin at the Awesome Shield website, where step-by-step -step videos take you on a fun learning journey. Building projects will build up your skills and teach you everything you need to know to go from being a total beginner to an Arduino program. You'll learn to write real code on your computer. Awesome Shield code is specially designed for beginners. It's easy to understand and easy to write. You connect your computer to Arduino and Awesome Shield. They follow the instructions you wrote in your code and bring it to life with light, sensors, and sound. Awesome Shield hardware comes pre-assembled, so it's ready to go right out of the box. The video series, code, and hardware all work together beautifully to make learning fun and easy. Just having uh, the shield with the simplified code and the tutorials just makes everything a lot easier. So the Awesome Shield is, is something anybody can use. You kind of gradually learn to understand the different components involved in computing. That's basically the same components you find in your Android or iPhone today. That's why it's important to expose those kids to, to such simple computers. They need to tell the machine what to do and, and, and not just consume it. Everyone should learn to program and everyone should learn to program hardware. Hardware is what surrounds us. If we understand hardware, then we understand all the computer technology around us. This is what, what Awesome Shield is actually doing. I would like for her to be able to do anything she wants in the world, as any parent would for their child. I think the bottom line is that if you have the tools and the knowledge, you can do whatever you want. We've already built a working hardware prototype, learning platform, and a first set of learning videos. We need your support now to produce more educational videos and to cover manufacturing costs. For your support, you'll get your very own at-home code school. This includes Awesome Shield hardware, an Arduino-compatible board, and access to the online learning platform with over 100 videos. Back Awesome Shield now and join the next generation of inventors. Yeah! <laughs> We're working on Scratch Junior, which is a programming language for young kids, specifically designed for five to seven year olds, and is designed with them in mind, so it's developmentally appropriate, and children can create animated stories, interactive games, collages, or anything they imagine. I like Scratch Junior because there's so many programs that you could make. It's like you can make your own movie. You basically get to make your own game and do it yourself. A few years ago, my research group at the MIT Media Lab introduced Scratch, a new programming language that lets kids ages eight and up create their own interactive stories and games and animations. And kids around the world have been making millions of projects with Scratch. A couple of years ago, we started a collaboration with Mitch at the MIT Media Lab to explore how we could extend Scratch for a version that's specifically designed for young children. Here's how the game works. 
You have to guess which one from this row makes which one from this row invisible. And you win if you you win if you get all three right. Computer programming or coding is like a new form of writing, a new type of literacy. Like writing, when people learn to code, they learn new ways of organizing their thinking, new ways of expressing ideas. So when you learn to code, you're learning many other things. You're not just learning to code, you're coding to learn. Now until now, people have generally seen coding as something very difficult, accessible only to a small subset of the population. But that's starting to change. We really think that coding can be and should be for everyone. We believe that learning how to code is a way to express yourself. It allows children to think in a systematic way. So while they're expressing themselves, they're also thinking about steps and problem solving and what comes first and what comes next, and that's sequencing. And sequencing is an important skill that leads to academic success. Do you know what that does? No, it's only. It makes it wait 50 seconds. Wow, how did you know? There's a clock. We design Scratch Junior to match the developmental abilities of young children. We look at cognitive, social, personal capabilities and we design the features of Scratch Junior to match what young children can do. We work with teachers, we work with children, we work with parents and we observe what they were able to do, what they were not able to do and we went back and redesigned Scratch Junior many, many, many times so it can really be a tool for young children. Being a teacher in an inclusive classroom, we have such differentiated needs. So this idea that there's an entry point for all the different kids in my class, regardless of where they're at with their learning, there's some way that they can get into it and start playing around and start learning how to create things, that there's a, a point of entry for everybody in my class. We're now working on a version of Scratch Junior for the iPad, and we're really excited to get it out to the world so that young children ages five to seven can start following their imaginations and creating with Scratch Junior. We want Scratch Junior to be free so that kids from all backgrounds have easy access to it. But that means we need to raise funds to support the development of the software and the resources and support materials. We really hope that you'll be able to help us finish the development of Scratch Junior so that young children will be able to learn to code and code to learn.